There are many mysteries in store for us with The Dark Knight Rises. Is Miranda Tate really Talia al Ghul? What will be the importance of Joseph Gordon-Levitt's role? Does Christopher Nolan simply break the bat or kill him? But perhaps the most pressing of all is whether or not we'll be able to understand what Bane says. Yes, when Warner Brothers released a six-minute IMAX preview of The Dark Knight Rises back in December, they hardly expected Bane's mumbling to be what audiences took away. But they have, and in spectacular fashion. In fact, there have been several rather clever tweets on the subject Subject, such as, The Dark Knight Rises prologue was really great, especially when Bane spoke the soon-to-be classic line, There are even several fake Twitter accounts that have popped up, including at MumbleBane, at MuffledBane, and at RisesBane. And understandably, Warner Brothers is getting nervous. This film is supposed to be a masterpiece, not have audiences giggling. And we all know that in the ultra-competitive comedy market, every late-night talk show, internet sketch show, and Saturday Night Live will milk this scenario for every laugh they can get. But easy fix, right? Unfortunately, it seems to be anything but. Remixing the sound or having Tom Hardy dub over his lines in post would certainly do the trick. However, Christopher Nolan doesn't want to change a thing. Nolan argues that to do so would dumb down the film. And one can see where he's coming from, as someone speaking through a mask would sound muffled. Plus, it would be terrifying to anyone dealing with Bane that they can't understand the words that their life depends on. And we can certainly all imagine a world where dedicated fans would go along with Nolan's realism and probably see the film several times to truly decipher Bane's lines. But you don't make over a billion dollars at the box office off of dedicated fans alone. You need the mainstream, the casual moviegoer. Look at what's happening to the artist. The film is a frontrunner for Best Picture, and Jean Dujardin is all but guaranteed to win for Best Actor. Yet still, the film is flailing at the box office. Well, even some of those who do go to see it demand their money back when they realize it's a silent film. Now, of course, some of you watching this video will say, who cares if the masses can't appreciate Nolan's genius? They are a loss. But you should care, and Nolan should care too. Because if The Dark Knight Rises doesn't at least match the box office of The Dark Knight, the mainstream will write off Nolan's contributions to the franchise. It will all be chalked up to Heath Ledger's performance as the Joker and the fascination over his death. Furthermore, Warner Brothers will not continue to give Nolan carte blanche, which means no more movies like Inception. Just look what happened to the Wachowski brothers after they took artistic license with The Matrix. So sure, due to what's most likely a very generous contract after the success of The Dark Knight, Warner Brothers probably can't stop Nolan. But the director, who struggled for so long before Batman came along, should think very long and hard about the ramifications of basically saying, you to Warner Brothers and the mainstream. What do you think Nolan should do? And what do you want him to do? Write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.